So if one looks simply at the auricular practice across all the teachings, what do we have in common? Well, we have the desire to help the patient heal, and we want to do this as effectively as possible. Well, the vase, also known, of course, as the Nogier Pulse or the RAC, is perhaps the best assessment tool to achieve this goal. And this is because it allows us to do these things. It allows us to determine that this is in fact an active point. It allows us also to determine that this active point is a top priority for this patient at this time. It allows us to treat that point with precision. And it allows us to go back and check what we did, making sure that we did indeed treat that point. What is an autonomic nervous system reflex? It is the fight or flight response. We detect it in the vascular system at the radial artery. Originally, it was thought that this was uh, the heart that was pumping the, the blood in a different way when you brought something close. What we now know is that it's in fact an autonomic nervous system response, which means it's a full system response. The arterial walls are are constricting just for that second, just for that moment that we are passing over an active point with the hammer or with the laser or any new information is coming in to the, to the electromagnetic field of the patient. If there are no active points on my ear and I do this, there will be no vase response. The ear will only produce an active point if there's a disturbance. That's one of the key reasons why this medicine works so well is because we are only going to find problems. Once you have the vase, once you understand and are able to consistently feel it, you have the power to decide as a therapist what questions you want to ask. What information do you want from the, from the body? They can tell us a specific location of an active point. Now you can do that also with pressure and with the point of select. But the difference is you can scan the entire ear at once. If you wanted to scan the whole ear with the point of select, it would take, it would take all day long. If you want to know what the deepest hidden psychological blockage is for this person at this time, then you apply a certain frequency, you apply a certain, perhaps you put a, a certain battery in the person's hand. By layering frequencies and information, you can get to very specific, very, very deep, powerful questions. So what else can it tell us? If you're using the laser for treating an ear point, then you can actually ask the question, which frequency is the most appropriate for this point? and the vase will continue to be triggered until that point has completely been treated. So you don't have to guess at how long to keep the laser on the point. You can check to see if the point is no longer active. You can actually check with the three volt hammer and the vase if that needle is actually treating the point or if there's something else around that needle that you missed. You can check also if the additional frequencies would add to the treatment. So if you treat the point with the laser or with the point finder, you can then go back over with this or with the laser and, and ask the question, does it also need another frequency to be added to this treatment to have the best effect? You can check connection between active points. One of the ways to do that is with this cord. So we find an active point and we make sure that this is being placed exactly on that point. And now what we have in the other end of the cord is the information of that active point. Now what we can do is we can search the other ear with the other end of this cord and find an association. What you're doing is you're finding what other point might resonate with that call for help. Also, what did the patient forget to say? Which is a lot, a lot more than you think. In a 2002 study, Dr. Muriel Agnes showed that without knowing the location of the pain, she was able to achieve significant chronic pain relief simply by treating the three most active points identified using the vase. With the vase, the practitioner has the ability to determine the best active points for treatment at a given time, to treat them precisely, and then to go back and check their work. Imagine the confidence that this can bring to one's practice and many clinical applications that are otherwise unavailable to us.